hi polish peeps welcome to my channel and actually welcome back to my channel because this is a video that i'm filming immediately after i filmed the last video so if you watched the last video i'm in the same position same clothes same everything <laughs> if not i'll link it below it is a um review of the polishes that i swatched for polish pickup this is a polish pickup wish list video so if you're joining me for the first time hello and if you are not joining me for the first time you're aware of kind of how this video works for me we just go over polishes that i have put in my wish list you guys help me make decisions based on what i want for this polish pickup i am trying to um buy less polishes for polish pickup so typically before i would try to get my um wish list down to about like five polishes i've actually been trying to purchase no more than three just because if you guys don't know, I'm getting married and I really am trying to save as much money as I can to go towards the wedding. Um, but I still love all the polish, so it hurts my heart so much to have to narrow down to only three polishes. I think I've been fairly successful. I haven't been getting around to doing my polish pickup hauls, but I will go back as far as I can when I do get around to doing them and show you guys what I purchased. I do read the comments and I do take into consideration what you guys um, mentioned to me that I should buy just based on what you know about me. So I do appreciate all of your comments and I'm not even sure how many I have on my wish list, but I know it's not a small amount. <laughs> I'm going to look it up for you guys right now. Um, if I can get to it. I'm using the app, so it is a little bit harder to navigate, but let's see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 polishes. Wow. <laughs> this is going to be way harder than I thought. Oh my gosh. Um, so I have 22 polishes. Let's go ahead and get started talking about them. I'm going to try to go through them as fast as possible because y'all, it's hot in this car. I don't know, like my, my makeup's starting to sweat off and it's hot <laughs> so um, we're gonna go through these quickly um, typically what I like to do is just go through and talk about the polish um, talk about what I like about the polish give you all the price so in case y'all want to go and put it on your own wish list um, I give you all as much information as I have about um, previous purchases from these brands and how much I like them and how much you know I don't like them but there's not gonna be any dislikes because they're just it's not <laughs> Every maker is amazing and fabulous and all of that. So at the risk of sounding redundant, you will hear me say that a lot. So first up I have Bluebird Lacquer, Rock of Sages. Lucy does an amazing job on these formulas. They are fabulous. This will be priced at $12.50. It is described as a bright green shattered hollow with subtle emerald blue shift. That shift, man. That shift is going to get me. <laughs> also, I love her formulas. I just love these. She just does these, this formula so well. Um, this reminds me a little bit of another green one of hers that I have that I cannot think of the name. Y'all know what it is. And I cannot think of the name of it right now. But y'all know what it is. Mm, I can't remember. It's a darker green. It's not quite this green. But it's still amazing. Um, I'm sure you guys are going to like comment below which one that is but this one this one is also gorgeous so here it is um swatched for you guys y'all I hope you guys can see the lighting in my car is never the best but look how pretty this is on the nails like so pretty I love 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 these polishes that she does and you're not going to be able to see the shift in these pictures but the fact that it has a shift just adds a little something extra that is so so good so that is bluebird lacquer rock of sages if you have not purchased one of bluebird lacquer's polishes in this formula you are totally missing out i'm telling you you need to grab it because it is so good okay the next one i have is by and i always wonder if i say this right is it i'm gonna say by Danny Viana. I don't know if it's Danny Viana or Donna Vi Donnie Viana. I don't know. I, I don't know. 
but this has summer written all over it and that's why I'm kind of feeling it because after spring comes summer so I'm already on the summer vibe of like peeping out polishes that I want to wear for summer and I feel like this would be fire on the nails for summer price at $13 it's described as okay there's no description um, but it is I can tell you it's like an orangey red and it's inspired by the Ibis Escalate. I don't even know if I'm saying that bird and it has like an orange shimmer running through it y'all this is fabulous I love this it's gonna be perfect for summer I love wearing these bright polishes for summer um, I like wearing them on my hands and on my toes I specifically like wearing them on my toes because I don't know they just pop off the toes so good y'all I really love this one I don't, know. I don't know if I can take this one off of my wish list I'm gonna try to be very um, picky about what I keep on there but this is so good and I love Don oh I, I hate what saying stuff that I can't say right Danny Viana's I love her um, formulas on her polishes are so good so I, I mean I'm gonna say that about all of them but yeah Next, I have Caddy Lacquer. This is going to be priced at $13.50. And hello, it's purple. It's shimmery. It's Caddy Lacquer. They do amazing formulas, amazing polishes. I'm always drawn to them on Polish Pickup. This is described as a dark gray with purple undertones, magenta red, orange, yellow, shifting shimmer, and silver reflective glitter. Y'all, this has so much going on, but it's just gorgeous on the nails, like that shimmer. It's a shimmer for me, y'all. Like, I, I like the, the base. I would have even guessed that it's a dark gray because it looks purple on the nails. I mean, you can kind of see it a little bit. It, and the shimmer kind of draws your attention immediately, so that helps. But look how pretty that is. I also like the little touch of reflective glitter because it's, like, just enough. Like, not too much reflective glitter. glitter. Like, sometimes I think... Um, makers sometimes use a little bit too much reflective glitter and, glitter and it kind of overwhelms the polish but I feel like this is perfect like it's just enough of a touch of reflective glitter to just add a little something extra I love it I love it so much so if, again if you have not tried a caddy lag or polish you might want to pick this one up it's gorgeous it'll be priced at $13.50 and there's no cap on that one Next, I have Ethereal. Ethereal is another brand that I tend to always love, always pick up polishes from on a regular basis. There's this truck over here that has just now decided to make a lot of noise. I think it's parking though. Okay, we're just gonna ignore it. Um, this is very light, very delicate on the nails, but I don't know, I love it. It is gonna be priced at $12.50. It is inspired by nature's most beautiful places, the Lower Antelope Canyon. Um, Canyon has a beigey sand base with a bright pink to orange color shifting shimmer and tiny holographic flakies. Um, also, 20% of the cells will be donated to the Navajo Water Project. Tractor's not parking. <laughs> um, to help provide water, running water to the Navajo people in Navajo Nation. I love buying polishes for a good a good cause and also it's gorgeous like it's stunning um, I have polishes kind of like this or at least one or two polishes kind of like this again I'm trying to be very picky about what I buy but I hardly ever can turn down an ethereal like that's just one of my favorite brands of polish um, ethereal and wildflower lacquer there's quite a few others actually, but Ethereal's definitely at the top of the list. And y'all, the shimmer, the shift, everything in here is just gorgeous. I love how delicate it is. I'm not sure, and I was gonna say I'm not sure how it would look with my skin tone, but this bottom picture right here is pretty close to my skin tone. So I feel like it would look really nice with my skin tone. Um, it has just the right touch of like, shiftiness too and holographic flakies that like I love hollow too it has all the things it's just perfect so again if you have not purchased an ethereal lacquer um she is just now returning to polish pickup she took a break 
but she's back. I think this is the second month she's been on Polish Pickup. You guys are going to want to snag it. $12.50 and there's no cap. At least not that I can tell. Okay, next I have Fair Maiden Polish. Again, Fair Maiden is another amazing brand. Um, I just picked up a lot of Fair Maiden polishes at the Polish Expo in Vegas last month. No, was it last month? What month is this? Yes, last month. Well, no, the end of March. Um, so, again, I'm always blown away by Fair Maiden. Um, this is described as a classic blurple. So it looks both blue and purple depending on the lighting and photography. Um, it's packed with fiery red, pink, yellow, aurora shimmer where the dominant is red. The reflective glitter finish truly makes this polish stand out. Again, so I feel like she's done an amazing job putting just the right amount of reflective glitter in it and it's blurple to my favorite colors. Like in order of like my colors that I like on my nails is purple, blue, probably pink and then on through some of the other colors but um y'all <laughs> look look at that shimmer oh my gosh like that shimmer I love me some Aurora shimmer y'all I cannot get enough of Aurora shimmer and just enough of that reflective glitter doesn't overwhelm the um, polish this polish is so good Another one I will struggle to pass up. I will struggle so much. If you were going to be struggling like me, just go ahead and pick it up. I can go ahead and tell you you're going to love it. It's priced at $12.50. Did I tell you guys the name? This is La Dame de Fur. La Dame de Fur, I think, is what this says. I think. <laughs> Price at $12.50. Um, and there's no cap. Y'all, I feel like I need to adjust this just a little bit. My bad, I pushed the wrong button and stopped recording, but I feel like you guys are kind of looking down at me. Okay, that's a little bit better. Not much, but a little bit. Um, anyway, so moving on, we have Glisten and Glow. Another brand I really love. This one's priced at $13. It is um, called Northern Lights at Acadia. It is described as a reflective glitter. Like, I love me some reflective glitter. I feel like makers are really loving re reflective glitters and it does add something extra. Um, so I I do, I do appreciate that, but I feel like all the polishes that I pick have reflective glitters. So I'm like, maybe I should pick something else. It makes me want to pick something else because I'm like, okay, reflective glitter again. And then the next one's like reflective glitter. <laughs> so I'm like, I mean, I can't help it. I love it, but you know. Um, you do want to be a little versatile. So this is described as a reflective glitter polish loaded with flashes of blue, purple, green, and silver. Under low lighting, a gray hue with purple undertone shines through the reflective sparkles. Under bright light or with the use of flash, the reflective sparkle morphs into a stunning display of flashes of blue, purple, green, and silver. Every angle and unique and every lighting shows something unique. I do like that too, that you get a different polish depending on what lighting you're in. Um, that's very enticing for me, especially in this case, because you can kind of see like that's three or four different polishes and it's just different lighting. Like that's basically it. And if you mat it up, you get a fifth polish. So, I mean, you're getting like five polishes in one. <laughs> basically and I love this base y'all I don't think I have anything quite like this base I really don't and there's a shimmer that's coming through also um I'm trying to see what color that is because I was reading through it and I can't remember what um that shimmer coming through it's purple it's like a pinky purple shimmer in some lighting so pretty so I'm really drawn to this one on the basis that you're really getting more than one polish so <laughs> glisten and glow another of course amazing formula if you guys want to pick this up and if you want five polishes in one $13 and there is no cap 
Okay, next I have Kathleen and Co. I swatched for Kathleen and Co, but I did not get this to swatch, and I was like, holy crap, I've got to have it. So I'm just going to add this one in addition to the three that I already said that I have to narrow down to because I have to have it. Like, it's not coming off of my list. Um, this is Cherry Blossoms. It's priced at $13. It's described as a soft spring green base. Loaded with pink shimmer and hollow flex. Um, it's so pretty. I love the shimmer in this one. Like, I, I don't know why, but I've really been drawn to, like, green with a pink shimmer recently. And my friend Carolina was talking about how she's been drawn to green with a pink shimmer lately. And I was like, same. Me too. I don't know why. I don't know. It's something about those that's getting me. Like, it's just really getting me this spring. And I don't have a lot of them, so I can't I can't wear them because I don't have a lot of them. But I would be pulling them, like, all the time to wear. Um, I do have a few that I can think of right now, actually. <laughs> Definitely adding this one to my collection. So, if you're feeling green with a pink shimmer like I am, you might want to pick this one up. It's appropriately named, too. Cherry Blossoms. I love that. $13, and there's no cap on that one. Um, I also have KB Shimmer, of course, on my list. This is called Superior Sunset. Again, with reflective glitters, but it is described as a fuchsia-leaning magenta nail polish. This pink shade is amplified by a color-shifting shimmer that shifts through hues of green, blue, aqua, and sometimes hints of indigo. Gleaming bits of reflective glitter catch the light for an amazing sparkle, even in lower light. It's best in two coats. And y'all, it's so pretty. I love this color. I love the shade. I love KB Shimmer. Again, the amazing formulas. Um, here it is with the flash. So the reflective glitter popping through there. I'm trying to get a good picture of the shimmer on the nail. You can kind of see it here in that picture a little bit in the micro shot. It's a gorgeous shimmer, y'all. It's really pretty and it's really popping off of these nails. I love that. Um, so that's KB Shimmer Superior Sunset, priced at $11.50 with no cap. Again, highly recommended brand. They all are. Um, this is Lumen Gate to the Stars. Last polish pickup, I'll go ahead, spoiler alert, I did purchase the Lumen polish. I think it was last polish pickup. It was either last month or month before last. Um, I haven't had a chance to swatch it, but it is freaking gorgeous. This is not necessarily a spring or summer polish, and so I may be able to pass this one up, but it's, it's gorgeous. It's priced at $13. Um, it's a deep and navy multi-chrome polish saturated with holographic flakes and red to gold to emerald shift so it's a multi-chrome so you're going to get multiple shifts on this one again also um more than one polish in one bottle <laughs> that's what i love about a multi-chrome y'all it's so pretty it's so just deepened and dark and dark on the nail but it also like flashes like there's a it's flashy and i don't know how the makers do it but it's it's deep it's dark and it's flashy. I love that. I love that it's flashy. Um, I can't tell you much about the formula because I haven't tried it yet, but um, I've heard good things about the formula and I've seen lots of swatches of this brand and they look amazing. So if you want to try Lumen Gate to the Stars, it's priced at $13. She is a new maker to polish pickup. Um, there will be a 400 bottles available. I also have this super cute polish from MJ Lacquer. I love her so much and I really do miss swatching for her but I'm still gonna you know I'm still gonna rave about her polishes because they're freaking amazing. Um, this is Bloom Where You're Planted. It's priced at $11.50 and this is Scream and Spring to me which is perfect because it's spring. Hello. But I could wear this one in summer too. So this one is described as a white-based crelly with purple metallic flakes, a sprinkle of fairy dust, and neon pink glitter representing seeds of hope. Aww. I love the names of her polishes too. They're so inspiring. 
um, when I was swatching for her, I was inspired by all of her polish names. So I was just like, oh, Janet, that's so sweet. I love them. Um, there's going to be 180 bottles of this available. But look how cute this is, y'all. Again, it's purple, so yes. Like a lilac purple. And I love the little scattering of pink glitters on it. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so cute. I'm so in love with this. I don't have anything like this or similar to this in my collection either, which is always a plus. So I'm always like looking for polishes that are rare in my collection. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is so much cuteness. I love this. Um, so if you haven't tried MJ Lacquer, love her. Bloom Where You're Planted, and it's priced at $11.50. So, you might want to add that one to your wish list. There'll be 180 bottles available. Next, I have Moo Moo Signature. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> I'm about to start dripping. <laughs> it's a little warm. Um, this is Moo Moo Signature Fantasy Castle. I purchased from Moo Moo. <laughs> sounds funny. I purchased from Moo Moo. <laughs> anyway, I purchased from this brand a while back. And I did enjoy the formula. It's been a minute. I haven't purchased from them recently, or I would say probably over the last, you know, multiple polish pickups. But this is really cute. It's definitely unique to my collection, which is also why I put it on my wish list because I was like, oh, I love that. It's priced at $13.50. It is described as a murky yellow with blue to purple, UCC flakes, diamond, flash, blue shimmer, hollow flakes, and crystal gold flakes. Now, it's described as a yellow polish, which if you guys don't know, if you're new to my channel, I don't like yellow polishes. Typically not what I'm drawn to. But this is more like a gold. I think the gold flakies um, kind of make this more appealing for me and the blue flakies. So I really do think this is super cute. Um, I would wear this during the spring or summer. But I would also probably whip it out around winter time because um, it just looks like a, a polish that I could wear during the winter time as well. Um, and even though it's yellow, it doesn't like, to me, it doesn't look like a yellow polish on the nails. So I really like that. Um, so if you're interested in that one, that's Moo Moo Signatures. It's called Fantasy Castle. Price at $13.50 and there will only be 100 bottles of that one available. So if you really want that one, you'll want to snag it super early. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm going to burn up before I get through all of these. <laughs> so hot. Next, I have Night Owl Lacquer. This is Delicate Arch. Priced at $13. It is a pale peach linear holographic with rose gold to gold shifting shimmer. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I have another polish that's similar like similar to this, and I'm really drawing to drawn to this because I want to make a comparison video, and that's not a really good reason to purchase it, but also because it's just really pretty. So I love the peach base in this one, and check out the hollow, you guys. Like it's the hollow that's getting me. It's so pretty. That hollow is gorgeous. I love the pink gray base, but the ho the hollow just sets it off for me. It also just looks very dainty, delicate, just, but it's, you know, like on longer nails, you can kind of see the peach base is not your typical peach. It's like a, um, I mean, well, the description says that it's a pale peach. So that is also, um, kind of not typical peach that you would find, um, and I don't have a lot of these in my collection because I don't normally buy peach polishes and I definitely don't buy pale peach polishes but it looks like it's going to be really pretty on my skin tone and again it's the hollow so if you're interested in that one it will be $13 it's called delicate arch and there's no cap next I have polish polish which I always have a hard time saying as well because it polish Palish. I don't know. Anyway, it's a gorgeous, like, light blue. Um, and this has bright silver reflective polish with holographic flakes and electric blue shimmer. So the blue is really just the shimmer. 
This one is priced at $14, which is kind of pricey, I think, but Polish Polish <laughs> is a really good brand. I have a lot of Polish polishes. Um, I haven't purchased too much from them recently because I have been cutting down, but I typically do love to purchase from them um, because their formulas are so good and they're just gorgeous. Like the reflective glitter in this is popping. So pretty. I don't know that this is going to be a must have for me, but it is really pretty. And I did want to mention it because if you have not purchased from this brand, this is a really pretty one that you might want to pick up with the reflective glitters. So that is Palish, and I cannot say the name of it. Halikala. 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 I, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to say that's what it is. I'll throw it up on the screen. <laughs> um, so yeah, price of $14. <clears throat> no cap on that one. Um, let's see. I also have Paradox Polish, which is an also, also another brand that I have picked up several times and really do enjoy. Um, they used to be named something else, which now I can't think of off the top of my head. But y'all probably know. But this is another um, green polish. It's it, the name of it is from sea to shining sea. I see. I'm getting tongue tied. From sea to shining sea. It's priced at thirteen dollars, and it is described as a white crelly glitter bomb with neon blue and green glitter, hollow flake, and reflective glitter that portray the reflective shimmer of our oceans. So looking at it, you like to me. Like, that's why I was like, it's another green polish, but it's not. It has a white curly um, base, apparently, but look at how pretty it is on the nails. Now, and if you look at it kind of closer, you can kind of see the base a little bit, but look. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, y'all. I love the glitter combination in this one. That is so pretty. Look how, how like, cute those um, blue and green glitters, like, play in that base. That is so pretty. I love that. I like that a lot. And it looks like an amazing formula. Like there's, it's not too much on the nail. So that's always good. And it also has reflective glitter. So let me show you guys a picture of it under flash. So it, it's not overwhelmingly um, with the reflective glitter either. So that's that's always a plus. I, I really like this. Um, so again, that's priced at $13 if you want to try to pick that one up. There's no cap. And the few polishes that I purchased before from this brand have been really amazing. So I think you guys will like that one. Um, I also have Polish Molish, um, which is again with the green and the pink. I don't know what I'm doing right now with my life, but this is Polish Molish. Masa, oh, I cannot say these names. Maslitasa. Maslitasa. I can't say it. I'm just going to put it on the screen because I can't say it. It's $12.50. It is described as a um, nail polish with a strong red, pink shimmer, and reflective green glitter. And, y'all, it's the. Uh, shimmer in this one I do love this the way this one looks. there's only two swatches of this one but they look both look really good I have polish I, no polish I have purchased from polish molish before I haven't been disappointed with the formula it's always been really good so that's one that you might want to consider again if you are all about the green and pink right now like I am <laughs> so that'll be $12.50 and there will be 108 bottles available, which is a strange number, but anyway, that's that's how many will be available for purchase. Um, I also have Polish for Days. This one is called Glacier Skies, and the reflective glitter is getting me in this one, but it's a periwinkle base with aqua pink purple shifting shimmer and silver reflective micro glitter. Y'all, this is so pretty. It kind of reminds me a lot of the polish polish, but with a a little bit of difference being that sh like the um, 
the aqua pink purple shifting shimmer in here um, okay so you might be able to see a little bit in this picture down here see how that shimmer pops through that's gorgeous I love that um, you can't see the shimmer in all of the photos but I'm assuming that it kind of pops in different lighting like you can see it a little bit on that one Ooh, sorry and then the reflective glitter in that one that's really pretty I like that one a lot um, polish for days yeah I have a whole drawer full of polish for days polishes I purchased a lot from them for so long I've been really trying to like spread out my purchasing <laughs> among other makers but I purchased, I did I purchased a lot for them for, from them for so long that I, I just have so many polish for days polishes but if you don't have or haven't experienced the gloriousness that polish for days is you guys might want to pick this one up it's so pretty I love this one Price of $13, Glacier Skies, and there's no cap. Next, I have, y'all, I think we're getting closer to the bottom. We are. We are getting closer. Sassy Cat's Lacquer. It's another brand that I, I swatch for on occasions. Um, Dreaming of Central. I love Sassy Cat's Lacquer's formulas. I don't know what it is. They're just really, like, buttery and smooth. And this polish is... Um, no exception like it just looks like it just glides smoothly on the nail it's a scattered linear hollow and pink gold orange and a tinted mauve base um so you can wear it in two coats for a more sheer look on the nail which i don't mind i don't know about y'all i don't mind having a sheer look on the nail or three coats for a more opaque look and it can be worn over other colors as a topper and look how cute this is i really like this one I've really been um, drawn to like less opaque polishes I guess I don't like um, sheerer polishes with like a um, jelly base I don't know why but that that type of formula really is like pulling me in because there's just so much you can do with it like you can use it as a topper you can do um, you know a jelly sandwich like there's so much you can do with it. Like, this is it over another color. Like, look how pretty that is. So pretty. I love that over another color. I'm really drawn to this one. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I like this one a lot. So, price of $13. There's only going to be 100 bottles available. So, apparently, if I want that one, I better get in and snag it. Here's another one I think that will look perfect during in the summer. It's by another brand that I really think is amazing. This is Sassy Sassy Sauce Polish. Um, Zion Sunset. I think this would look amazing on my toes. It is a rustic cream base with a strong rose shimmer. And it's a very unique color. Like this combination is very unique. Like I don't have anything quite like this. Um, it's priced at $12.50. And you guys, look at this. Like what <laughs> I don't know I love this I oh my gosh all this month is gonna kill me it's literally gonna kill me I'm gonna have to do like sizzle or something <laughs> look how pretty that is yeah I'm getting to where I can recognize people's swatches just by their nails like I know who these swatches are <laughs> I'm totally drawn to this. I don't I don't know what it is about it either. I think it's just the color of the base. Like it's it's very unique. And then the shimmer on top of it just adds something. Like it and it does remind me kind of a, of a sunset, like the orange with like the pink glow on top. Like that's what it kind of reminds me of. And I'm loving it. Like I'm in love with this. Yeah, it's gonna be very hard. This is priced at $12.50. There'll be 500 bottles available. So just in case you love it as much as I do. So pretty. So I also have a stamping polish by Hit the Bottle. I'm not going to show you guys that because it is like a, like a silvery stamping polish. Um, you guys can check that out on the side if you want to if you're into stamping. I haven't been able to do much stamping lately, but I still like to buy stamping polishes on occasion. I also have the Matte Top Coat by Night Owl Lacquer. I've been looking for a really, really good matte top coat. Now, I'll go ahead and show you guys this picture because this looks like 
a satin mat, which is kind of what I'm looking for. And look how like smooth and satiny that is. <laughs> I don't know how to say satiny any other way, but um, this is priced at seven dollars. There'll be 200 bottles available. Um, I may pick this up just because I'm looking for that satin matte quality in a matte polish, which I don't actually do matte manis that often, but I am intrigued by that one. This other one I'm interested in just because it's purple. This is a new brand to me, Twisting Nether Lacquer. This is under Light Canyon. It'll be priced at $13.50. It's a purple reflective glitter with blue metallic flakes, blue purple iridescent flake iridescent glitters, unicorn shimmer, and hollow micro flakes. So there is so much going on in this polish, but look how cute that is on the nails. Like, I love that it's purple, of course, first of all, but it also has, like, so much going on in it that it's just really pretty, really, like, flattering, I feel like, and it has reflective glitter, so I'm trying to show you guys it under flash. Wait, that's it under flash in that picture. Look how pretty. I love that. It's not like at the top of my list, so I could maybe pass it up this time, but I definitely want to try some more polishes from this brand. I say try some more, but not try some more because I haven't tried any, so I definitely want to try some polishes from this brand, and it may not make the cut this time, but I'm definitely, it's definitely on my radar. So that's under light cannon. $13.50 and there'll be 200 bottles of that one available. The last one of course I have, last but not least, is Wildflower Lacquer. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite brands. I almost always pick up Wildflower Lacquer on any collab that she does because they're just, they're always amazing and I don't even hesitate. I'm just like, give it to me. <laughs> this is Arctic Passage $13.50. It's a deep cyan blue base with purple to pink to orange shifting shimmer magnetic holographic pigment and shatter hollow flakes i don't think i have a magnetic polish from wildflower lacquer so i'm definitely going to pick this one up first of all it's gorgeous second of all the magnetic pigment is not super apparent like it's subtle on the nails but it just i mean it adds the just like my body is sacred and i will take care of it i get these positive inspirational things that come through on my phone so just wanted to share that with you guys <laughs> Um, this, like, the magnetic pigment, it's not super apparent, but whatever it does, like, the little bit that it pulls, like, it is so gorgeous. I love the way that looks. Like, sometimes I'm, you know, disappointed in the magnetic pull, like, if it's not super strong, because in certain polishes, it doesn't really do much for the polish unless it's, like, pulling, like, super hard and you're getting that super strong line. But this one, like it pulls just enough. It gives it just a, like a little bit of a delicate line, but it looks stunning. I don't know how she does it. Like, I don't know what it is. But I think it's also the shimmer, um, you know, the hollow flakies, like everything else that's going on in here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick this one up. If you guys haven't tried a wildflower lacquer, like what are you doing with your life? <laughs> like you seriously need to try it. Um, there will be 600 bottles available and usually she tries not to have a cap but um, she has been having to have a cap kind of more often on polish pickup but um, 600 is pretty high cap so you know you don't have to get in there super fast but I would definitely recommend snagging as fast as you can because her polishes typically t tend to go like that like super fast Okay, that's it on my wish list, you guys. I did want to show you guys what's on my nails. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. This is No Illusions. It is one of my Project Polish polishes. If you guys haven't seen that video, um, it's like the whole collection video if you guys want to look it up. And um, I really love this one. I'm like loving it. Y'all, my hands are shaking. Um, super pretty. Very shifty. Like it's shifting to purple, to green, to blue. Um, I love it. It's really pretty. Really amazing formula. Very smooth. Very buttery. Blah, blah, blah. All the things. So that's No Illusions. KB Shimmer. So. Because I know you guys are going to ask, what's on your nails? Okay, y'all. Seriously. I have to get out of here. I'm about to burn up. Like, my sweat is sweating. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, um, oh, by the way, I'm going to put the 
description of Polish Pickup below in the description box. If you guys are not aware of all the details of Polish Pickup, it does go live this coming up Friday. This is Wednesday when I'm filming. So um, check out the details below so that you can get all the deets. And if you're joining me for the first time, I'm super happy to have you. Um, do consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you can see future videos. Like I'm pointing like there's somebody over there. <laughs> and give it a thumbs up so I know I'm doing an awesome guys and you're enjoying my content. And I love you guys so much, so, 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 so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!